hello students welcome back to my channel today we are going to learn blood transfusion and blood grouping from icc 10 biology this is the second video for circulatory system please go back and watch the first one if you haven't introduce introduction to the first part of the chapter today let's understand what is meant by blood transfusion due to some injury or due to the during the time of a particular surgical operation a person needs to get blood uh, how do you give the blood you can inject the blood into that person but any random blood group cannot be donated or transfused there is a particular rule for that and that rule to know that rule what is the rule exactly the rule is that the patient receiving blood should be compatible for the blood he is or she is receiving okay so what is this blood grouping blood grouping um, our blood grouping system is called as ABO blood grouping system and it was discovered by Carl Landsteiner. This name you should definitely remember because they'll ask you for the examinations. Okay. So, um, as you know, there are four different types of blood groups in human. A blood group, B blood group, AB blood group and O blood group. And uh, to know this, why do we call this as A or B or AB? You should um, particularly understand certain things. So let's go to the board and learn that right now. Let's understand what is meant by this blood grouping. First and foremost, you, have, you can see the structure of a RBC. On the RBC surface, there are certain proteins called as proteins called as antigens. Okay. Now this antigen is not at all related to the immunity where you learn about antigen and antibody at all okay this is not a foreign particle this is a self particle which is present on the surface of the rbc now on the rbc let's say a person has a as the i'll take another color a as the protein antigen a is present on the surface of the antigen uh, surface of the rbc then the blood group is Blood group is A. Person's blood group is A. Now, let's say instead of A, B is present. Okay? B is present. Only B. Then that person's blood group is B. So, depending on what? Depending on the antigen on the surface of RBC, we give names to the blood group. Now, on this person, A is also present. B is also present. Then that person's blood group will be AB. If none of it is present, both are absent, then the person's blood group will be O. Alright. So, depending on the antigen, which is basically a protein present on the RBC surface, we name the blood group as A, B, A, B or O. Alright. You know, done. This is on the surface of RBC. This whole thing, RBC is present in plasma, which is the liquid part of the blood. Corresponding to which antigen is on the surface, let's say this is the antigen, A is present. Corresponding to that, there is an antibody present in the plasma. This is one thing that you should know. If antigen A is present on the surface of the RBC, there is a corresponding B antibody, antibody where? In the plasma. Now, if B is on the surface, B is on the surface of RBC, the antibody will be A. If both are present, nil, no antibody will be present. If zero antigens are present, no antigen is present, obviously the blood group is O. We already know that. The antibody present will be both A and B. Alright. Now, the thing is that if an antigen A, antigen A and antibody A come in contact, they will coagulate, blood will clot. Therefore, a person with an, having antigen A, meaning blood group A, right? Blood group, blood group A should never receive blood having antibody A, which is the one that is having antibody A, B blood group. A blood group can never give blood to B blood group and so on. There are rules. Okay, the rules you can look at this table and learn. Which all, what is the rule? Blood group A, if blood group A is the donor, he can give blood to, he or she can give blood to A blood group also. Never to B or never to O. Okay, 
because O has both, correct? O has both the antibodies, so it's going to coagulate. That's why never to O. But AB has no antibodies. It he or she can receive blood from A. The same way for B blood group person should never give blood to A blood group person, but can give blood to B also AB blood group also never to O. And this table easily you can learn in a minute. So that table to be learned along with that. The blood group which can donate to all the blood, other blood groups are called as universal donor and that is O blood group. The one that can receive blood from any, any type of blood group is called as universal recipient and that is AB. Okay, so this much you need to know that's all for uh, ICC 10 biology. One more thing is other than this antigen A or B or both or nil, there is another antigen which may or may not be present. It will be present in some people, will not be present in some people. That antigen's name is Rh factor. If Rh factor is present in a person along with his or her blood group, we will put a plus. If absent, we will put a minus. So if a person is, I will give you a question to do. Let's say a person is having antigen B and Rh factor. What will be the blood group? His blood group will be B plus. If Rh is absent, his blood group will be B minus. Okay, B positive or B negative. I hope that is clear. Thank you children. Thank you.